Well, hello, hello, how are you all? How is my team fitness revolution? So let me know if you all can hear me okay. Also, um, if you get a chance to hop on here, let me know if we are having any technical difficulties, like if you can't hear me well and whatnot. So I got on here because our famous, phenomenal, amazing leader, Triple Diamond, Mrs. Going Ambassador, right? Mrs. Nina Rochelle Mora asked me to get on here and teach and coach on watch parties. So who am I if I've not had the chance or the honor to meet you? We are team members, right? So I am newly promoted Diamond Garlinda Price out of the Fayetteville, North Carolina market. Super excited. Hey, Shadonna Marie. Hey, Jasmine. Rock stars, right? So I'm in great company. So I was charged with the responsibility to train and coach on hosting watch parties. And so I'm super excited about it because I want you to, I want this to be interactive. So I want you to put a one in the comment section if the thought of going live makes you want to just pass out right and so if you the thought of going live makes you want to pass out i want you to put a one if you're okay with going live and you really want to figure out how to even boost that engagement i want you to put a two okay so tonight we're talking about watch parties how to host a watch party what they can do for your business and why they are so great and so i love it that mrs moore nina thought so much of us to say this would be an excellent tool for us and so how do watch parties help you grow your business right how a uh, one <laughs> so somebody wants to pass out right so what's so awesome about that and thank you for your transparency jazzy and so what's oh you said i got a new partner today just from hosting a watch party and awesome congratulations and i sealed the deal on someone that was on the fence from a watch party last week. So a watch party is perfect for you, Jasmine, and for other people that say the thought of going live is just too nerve wracking, right? And so what a watch party does is it gives you the opportunity to host a movie. It's like you get to decide what movie are you gonna host, what thing are you gonna play, what, what content are you gonna share. It gives you the opportunity to have something to share without necessarily having to be the one to present. So for those of you that are just joining us on tonight, I've been given the charge by Triple Diamond, none other than Rockstar herself, our mentor that we all want to be like when we grow up. I know I do, right? She, we are coaching and she wanted me to teach on watch parties and hosting watch parties. So, for example, let's say that you want to you want to boost your engagement on social media, right? Because now the way that Facebook algorithms and everything are set up, and I'm certainly no expert in that, but I know that half of the people that are our teams don't see our content. Half of the people don't see what we're talking about. So for anybody that says, I don't want to do lives, I just want to post, let's say that they're only putting text out there, meaning you're only writing a sentence, thank God it works, pay me today, right? That's going to get very little engagement because it's just words. And you all let me know too if I'm having any type of technical difficulties or if it's not clear sound um, because I won't know unless you tell me. And then um, the other thing is, um, if you put a post up and it's just text and it has a picture, that's going to boost you up a little higher. But now, you know, that it still keeps your, your numbers and your content views low. So if you go live, that boosts you way up in the algorithms of Facebook. But how do you stand out? Because even if you go live, but no one knows you. Thank you, Shadana. Hey, Wayman. Shout out to Double Diamond, Wayman Patterson. Hey, Tammy Hooks. Thank you for sharing. And so if you even share a live, that doesn't put you all the way up, but it boosts your rankings far above everybody else to the point you begin to grow a presence, right? Online, you begin to grow a following depending on what you're sharing. And so what, what Watch Party does is it puts us in control of our branding. It puts us in control of, of having content to share. I'm gonna tell you how to host one, where to go find it. I was hoping to be able to log onto the computer and show you at the same time, but it just wouldn't let me be great and cooperate. So we're gonna to have to do it together. And if you happen to be on your computer, um, then you'll be able to follow along as we're talking about it. So one thing that's really awesome about watch parties and about growing your business here with It Works Global is you can create groups, right? You can post inside of groups, like I'm posting inside this group as a live, but you can actually make this a watch party. Um, the other thing is for people that want that have health goals, like I've created a keto and an intermittent fasting weight loss group. So that's something that you can do. And then if you want to target inside that group a specific amount of people or a specific you know, people talking about one topic. Maybe you're a dog lover and you're like, okay, how can I reach other dog lovers but promote my product, right? You want to find groups and things that interest you. The other thing is um, 
you can focus on what you want to share. Maybe you're a motivator. Maybe you're someone like Shadana has done some excellent videos on motivation. She's done some excellent videos on self-love, right? Because I've had a chance to watch some of them. And so if that's what you're good at sharing, then focus around doing watch parties around that so you begin to engage an audience and you begin to build and grow a following. So then when they see you come live or they see you begin to share stuff about your business or share things about the products, you already have recognition. People recognize you from your motivation. They recognize you from the other things you talked about. They recognize you from the focus group or they recognize you from weight loss, right? And so what you want to do is begin to create a 30-day challenge if you have a group you want to be able to I'm sorry somebody was talking you want to be able to offer um, your products or services whatever it is you decide you want to share that's what you can do in the group well let's say you want to offer people 40% off and you want to create a watch party around how can you purchase these products at 40% off you're basically creating your own commercials with the watch party so watch parties you can use them everywhere and I didn't know this until I think it was last week and you can actually put watch parties on your personal page. So whatever your personal Facebook page is, let's say it's, hey Raina, let's say it's Raina Curran, right? Let's say that you have a business page and your, your business page is Get Fit with Shadana. And let's say you have a group page, like I have a group page called My Body, My Way. And it's a closed keto group, right? So you can go and do watch parties inside groups. You can do watch parties on your personal page and you can do watch parties on your business page. So earlier this past week or weekend, I was running three, three watch parties at once. So on, in my private closed group, I was running a keto watch party. On my personal page, I was running an It Works opportunity um, party. And then over on a cosmetics page that I used to have whenever I had a cosmetics company, I don't now, I was doing the opportunity presentation over there because we have skincare. So there was no reason for me to let go of 1,300 people that are my audience just because I no longer sell cosmetics. So those are the three places that you can share watch parties on any of your personal pages, any of your business pages, and any of your groups that you create. Also, if, um, if you use the watch party inside of a group, you can't take the um, party outside of, you can't take the video and share it outside of the group because the group is closed. But I want to talk more about that in a second. Um, also, if you share it on your personal page, make it something different maybe from what you're sharing on your group page. But what I did do the other night, you said I just ordered the exfoliating peel, can't wait to share it. That is a phenomenal product. So once you get the exfoliating peel and it comes in, you could do a watch party, go find a video that's exfoliating peel specific but doesn't relate back to the person talking about the exfoliating peel what do i mean by that so like we did a watch party yes um earlier today because on thursdays we're going to talk about scheduling you can't schedule watch parties and i'm gonna give you a tip on how to do it so we scheduled or showed i should say the spanish version of the it works presentation but what I had to do was I had to put that It Works presentation in Spanish into a translator to make sure she wasn't saying in Spanish, come back and call me, whoever she was, right? Which there's nothing wrong with that, but I wanted to make sure I'm not promoting her website. I wanted to make sure it was a generic overall website. So how do you go and find the videos that you would show during your watch parties? How do you share content in your watch parties? I'm gonna tell you that in a second. So a watch party is where you pick a video or multiple videos, you put them in what's called a queue. And we're gonna talk about that as well. And when you put them in the queue, you can pick one video, you can pick two videos. One night I showed a three or four videos back to back because as you put them in the queue, then you're gonna say video number one. The second video, it queues up to start after that one. The third video queues up to start after that one. The fourth video queues up to start after that one. Now there's a watch party queen right there, Martha Yabi. Hey y'all, hey Jessica. And so when you're hosting watch parties, you can do back to back to back multiple watch parties on different pages. You can do back to back multiple watch parties on one page and just keep it going like a movie screen, right? It is the coolest thing ever. And what happens is after your watch party ends, because like, let's say at the end of our watch party, Shadana would know this, Martha would know this. Hey, Jessica. Um, after the watch party ends, you're going to see a screen come up that says this watch party has ended and it's a big pink or like purple colored screen. But when you slide it to the side, the video is still there. 
That means that people can still go back and look at it again because the replay is saved on your page from where you hosted the watch party. How cool is that, right? So even days later, when the algorithms catch up and that person finds your post from yesterday or the day before yesterday, they can still go back and watch that video. So the other thing is we talked about so you can share multiple videos inside of a group or on a personal page or on a business page and it gets the watch party noticed. It begins to get people noticing you. So if you're that person that says, I'm too shy, I'm too nervous, well, you need to get in touch with your inner Beyonce, right? And I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a Beyonce fan, even though she's a rock star, right? But she said that she gets nervous on stage, and so what she does is she created this alter ego called Sasha Fierce, right? Or you could just be boss to the wall like Nina and Rochelle Moore and just say, look, I ain't scared money, don't make money, right? And just do it afraid. And so, but I'm going to share with you another secret for those of you that are scared to go live. We'll do that in a second because I might forget. So you cannot schedule watch parties, but what is so cool is that everyone can set up a notification and you can tell people that you're going to be going live on a watch party at this time. How do you do that? Well, you know how Facebook has those little colored blocks where you can pick pink, red, blue, green. Now they have African print for this month, I guess, because it's... Um, Martin Luther King and Quans and all that stuff. So you can just basically in one of your posts and pick up a, a really pretty background, just say, I'm going to be hosting a watch party at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to be hosting a watch party at 11 a.m. So even though you can't schedule it like you would a Facebook post, you can tell people in advance that you're going to be coming with a watch party. So tonight what we did prior to our opportunity call was I got on and I did a live. But let's say you're like, girl, Linda, there's no way I'm going live. I'm just not going to do it. And if I do, if I do do it, I might throw up and, and, and talk at the same time. So you can record what you want to say, right? You don't have to go live because video is still going to be great on Facebook. Video will still get you noticed. Video will still push you up in the algorithms. So if you have an iPhone, you can create an iMovie. You know, on your phone, you can create a YouTube video that then you can then upload to your page and then you can use that as a watch party. So you don't have to go live for those of you that are nervous about it. You can always pre-record and then upload and you're still going to get the same message apart. Y'all already know that I'm a Snapchat fanatic. It drives Joseph Newman crazy. Shout out to Double Diamond Joseph Newman. It gets on his last nerve, right? And... The reason why it gets on his nerves is because it probably has that little high-pitched voice, but sometimes I just want to do something different, but you have to have a balance, right, of what you're going to be sharing. So when you're doing the watch parties, what I learned in getting ready to do this training is I don't necessarily have a great balance because all my watch parties are about it works. So what I encourage you to do is when you get ready to do your watch party, and I'm going to walk you, I'm going to walk you how to, through how to do it before we end, but when you do the watch party, create a schedule for yourself. Just so like I'm following notes, right? So on the notes, what you could do is say on Monday, I'm going to do watch parties around. Um, I'm going to do a watch party for our team fitness revolution um, main business presentation in Ardmore, Pennsylvania at Paul and Nina Morris home. That could be your watch party for Monday night. Your watch party for Tuesday night could be Jared and Portia Wilkins opportunity call presidential diamonds when they do their call you could do a watch party from there well the other night of course those are on zoom so i was like okay lord how are we going to show the opportunity if it's on zoom if it can't be shared right uh, you said i love it. oh you're so sweet thank you shadonna tell joseph that joseph shadonna says she loves my snapchats they're informative and hilarious okay but that's probably because we're a lot of like shadonna so i was trying to figure out how was i going to share the opportunity because i wanted to be able to share it on Facebook, right? And But there's no way to share from the Zoom over to Facebook unless you have a way to stream. So what I did was I turned um, the phone around and I created a watch party, right? And so we got to be creative about how to get our business out there. If you're just joining us, Shadonna Marie is on here and she's one of the leaders in our company and our organization on our team. And she was just sharing, she just recruited someone earlier today from a watch party. I closed a new business partner a week ago from a watch party. So that's what we're talking about tonight. So the next thing is a watch party is where you pick videos that people are going to watch and you watch them together. Basically, you're creating an in-home movie experience, which I think is so ingenious, right? And so you're going to sit there and you're going to watch it together. But what is so cool is it has comment sections, right? So you can type in the comments. So what I'm doing is as the um, watch party is taking place, I'm typing in comments 
in the video. So you'll notice that every Thursday I'm giving y'all my secret, my secret sauce, right? Every Thursday I have a video that I share that I found on Cami Pentecost page. Now it is an older video, but because Cami mentions that it's Thursday night in her video, she says, happy Thursday. That's what she says in the video. So I basically put a calendar note to myself and it repeats every Thursday. It tells me, go post Cami Pentecost video as a watch party two times on Thursday. So I do one in the evening at 5.30. That's why today I did the drive at 5. And now I'm going to do another one before I go to bed before the different time zones. And the reason why I share the older one by Cami Pentecost is, yes, it does mention that we are in 23 countries instead of 24, but it's okay, right? I can correct that in the comments section. But the reason why I share is, one, it's an excellent video. Um, and two, she's very personable, but three, because it says Thursday. So I don't have to go reinvent the wheel. I have it on my calendar to share it. I go pop the watch party on. You can leave the watch party. So you don't have to feel like you're being held hostage, and I'm going to tell you how to do that. But you can actually leave now for the watch party. You can also... Um, in the watch party, but you don't want to do that while you're watching it. But if you leave now, it'll still keep playing. Shadonna made a great point. She said, don't forget to subscribe and follow key leaders pages and know when they go live because any videos that you watch are going to be saved in your watched videos, which I'll tell you about in your, um, for your watch parties and you'll be able to go pull them. Right. So what I did was I went to, I can't remember the leader's name, Lord forgive me. And she's a super cute ambassador diamond. Um, but anyway, I found her page on Facebook. I went to her page and I watched her video. And her video was targeting um, why a celebrity cosmetologist joined It Works. I say so because I watched it, it's saved in my queue. So that way I could then go and turn that into a video targeting cosmetologists, targeting makeup artists, targeting estheticians targeting those that are in the beauty industry, right? Whether they're salon owners, spa owners, or what have you. And then she had another young lady that she was interviewing, and this particular young lady that this leader was interviewing um, was talking about why that person that was a diamond, I think she was a double diamond, had left It Works and came back. So I was able to use that video to target former It Works representatives. Like, were you with It Works and you left and now you realize and see the value of coming back? And so any videos that you watch on your Facebook page, if you go look in um, when I, where I tell you to go, you're going to see videos you didn't realize were being saved in the queue. I was like, ooh, some of this stuff I didn't mean to save, right? So let's keep going. So a watch party is where you pick the videos that people are going to watch and you watch them together. People can comment. It shows you how many people are on. And what is really cool about that, now this is the thing, once the watch party ends, you can't go back that I know of and look at your audience. So this is what I do. I'm hosting most of the time the watch party on my desktop. So while I'm watching the watch party on my desktop, I'm screenshotting all the people that are watching. And the reason I'm screenshotting all the people that are watching in groups, right? Because it'll show about groups of seven, six or seven. I take a screenshot with my phone so that I can then go back and say, thank you for watching. You know, thank you for connecting on the watch party. What did you like most about what you heard? You go into the script with the people that watched it. And I noticed that every week, every, every day, excuse me, when I'm sharing the watch parties, the same people are getting on there. So people are watching. Why is that important? Because a lot of times in business, I see people say it all the time. No one's supporting me. No one's commenting on my post. No one's acknowledging what I'm doing, but people are watching, right? But they're like us. I'm a total lurker online. I may watch people do stuff and I may see them, but I just maybe don't comment because I just don't want to comment, right? So that is the same way people are with our businesses. So if you're out front and people see you all the time, when they are ready to make a decision, you're going to be the person that's top of mind share that they think about, right? Nina talks about it all the time. And what she said is that, um, that it takes seven exposures for someone to be interested in what we're talking about. It takes seven exposures for people to be interested because not everybody is a shark. Not everybody's a whale. Not everybody's a dolphin. Not everybody. Some people are urchins as Joseph likes to share those different characteristics, right? And what he said about urchins is they like a lot of information. He said, I'm an urchin. I think I'm overly detailed. That's for sure. 
<clears throat> Shadonna said you also need to build your network daily by adding people and that is a great way to add people and the reason why I started showing the Spanish video is because I have a lot of Spanish friends that teachers that teach at my children's school and I was like how cool would it be to show that we have a bilingual side to our company right so get creative in your watch parties and the content you share and the things that you share right because it's going to make you stand out but it takes sometimes seven exposures for some people to say oh they're talking about weight loss products right because we have so much swirling around in our heads and so much swirling around and just to give you a tip to tie it into watch parties is many of you may not know I'm a real estate broker and a course that I took that talked about um, it was called bold and it was building your business by living out loud with your business and how do you get top of mind share in a crowded marketplace it's by being out front it's by being seen and then even though people see you see you see you and they're like okay Shadana it works Garlinda it works Mary it works Re, it works Jasmine it works Raina it works it's gonna catch on at some point that when they decide they're ready to buy a wrap they're ready to buy a product they're ready to join the business they're gonna go with the person that has top of mind share watch parties are gonna give you the top of mind share because on average in our field and our field when I say our field is sales right whether it's real estate whether it's um, it works whether whatever it is sales if you reach out to someone and connect with them between eight times consistently straight eight straight times in a week and then you drip on them every week through watch parties and you drip on them every week through sharing with them products sharing with them information it's gonna give you top of mind share and you just need to be the last man standing right because after the first person gets told no they're gonna want to there that person's gonna fall off but if you're the person that's there when Nina says at the seventh time the eighth time the twelfth time and they're ready you're the person they're gonna go to and watch parties is gonna do that for your business so step one decide when you're going to do the watch party and then build out the videos what does that mean so you get your calendar right we all should have a calendar if you don't have a calendar you can write it on a sheet of paper you can put it in your phone some people are paper people and some people are techies right so you can put it in your phone or on a piece of paper and say okay these are the watch parties that I want to do this week and they should be mixed they should be around sharing motivation. Are you an Eric Worre fan? Are you, do you love Nina's Bling Again call? Nina's Bling Again call is a perfect motivation call to share on Mondays and Fridays, right? That should be a part of your watch parties because then you're giving people something inspirational. They're going to feel good and have warm and fuzzies about coming to your page. That's going to interest them. Also, if you say, okay, I want to share the Monday night opportunity in Ardmore, Pennsylvania. I want to share that. Maybe you're the one that's wrapping somebody or you're doing a sip and share or you're doing a three-way. Let that be your watch party. Maybe you have something going on at church. Let that be your watch party. So write out what it is you want to talk about and what you want to do. So my watch parties consist of the Monday Artmore presentation. They consist of um, the... Tuesday, I think whenever Jared and um, Jared does the opportunity call, now I'm doing them on the phone and I'm presenting it that way so that I can do a watch party from my phone um, on the desktop. My watch parties consist of Nina's Monday and Friday if I'm at the computer or I'm not driving where I can share it. And my opportunities now consist of keto and intermittent fasting videos that we're going to be doing in our group. So I have a schedule. I have an idea. I have the thoughts around what I'm going to do. And then I do motivation, right? So think about what interests you, what excites you. That's what I mean by build out your videos and don't change it, right? Get into a rhythm. You want to do it if you can the same day, the same time every week. That way people get used to seeing you right people get used to seeing you show up at a certain time so that's why Nina doesn't change her lives right when I was doing lunchtime motivation it was every day between 12 and 1 so people knew every day between 12 and 1 I was gonna be coming with a launch at lunch and learn motivation tip right so create your schedule write it out for the month don't just do it for the week because that way we can save time right write it out for the month and it doesn't have don't overwhelm yourself if you only say I'm gonna share three watch parties um, the same three watch parties every week for a month that's 12 exposures that's 12 watch parties that's huge right I think my math was right three a week 
times four weeks. I think, I don't know, y'all add it up, right? But, but focus on doing no less than three. So when the lady was teaching and training on the video that I was watching to come forward to talk to you about watch parties, she was saying that you want to be out there. And even Nina was sharing that this month, we've got to get our exposures up. We've got to get our parties up. We've got to get our wraps up. Even if it's you and one person, you and three people, you and four people, you and 20 people, because some of y'all are just amazing with the number of people you can connect with, make it live, go live so that you begin to create brand awareness. So step one is decide when you're gonna do the watch party, write it on your schedule or put it in your phone, and then write down what you're gonna talk about and the days you're gonna talk about it and the times you're gonna talk about it. And then when you go to, to put the watch party on, um, you can be doing something else while it's playing. You don't even have to be watching it. If you're on your phone, all you have to do is hit leave now the video will keep playing. Step two, so this is how you're gonna start a watch party. For those of you that don't know it, for those of you that do, I apologize, I know it's like watching paint dry, but for those of you that don't know, when you're in Facebook, and just like where you would go when you're getting ready to create a post, you would go right there and you're gonna look where it says what's on your mind. That's the blank white screen where you get ready to type out stuff to people, right? Then down where it says feeling and activity, so it's a big white screen, white block, and then you're going to see three different little bars or three different little ovals, and one of them says feeling and activity. Beside feeling and activity, you're going to see three little dots, and if you click on those dots, that's the drop-down menu. When you click on the drop-down menu, that's where it's going to say watch party, and watch party is the third one from the top on the right hand side. So you'll see the little dots, that's your drop down menu. When it drops down, the third box from on the right down is watch party. When you click on that, what's gonna come up is a pink screen that says, describe, give a description of your video. And when it says give the description of your video, it's also gonna ask you to give a title to your video. You don't wanna make it long, right? Because I think the title is only gonna give you but so much room to type in anyway. But the description box, you can type out, okay, this video is gonna be about show me the money. This video is gonna be about, you know, it works opportunity presentation. This, this video is gonna be about a December to remember. Whatever our slogans are for our team, if you're sharing the opportunity, that's the slogan I normally put in there. So once you put that in there, you're gonna see a long bar that says add video. When you click on that bar and it says add video, you're gonna see a series of four choices. And I know I'm gonna forget one, right? One of them is gonna say watched. Those are all the videos that you watched on your page that you, that you can choose from to add as a video. The next one is gonna say suggested. Suggested videos are so weird. I don't know where they come from, where Facebook suggests these videos from, but none of them relate to me at all. So I don't recommend you pick suggested unless you really wanna scroll through there and seek and search and see what's in there. I don't pick those. The next set is gonna be saved videos. So the saved videos are just what Shadana and I were talking about a minute ago. So like I shared with you that I follow Cami Pentecost. So I went to Cami's page, I looked through Cami's videos, I found two or three videos that I wanted and I saved them. So I pulled up the video from her page and in the far right but on the far right top, you're gonna see three little buttons. And on those three little dots, if you click on there, you can click save video. Well, when I save the video, it saves under my saved videos on my Facebook page. I don't know how or where, but it's sitting in there and save videos. So when I go to click on the blue bar under, under my watch party that says add videos, I can, click, I can um, click on and pick any of my saved videos. You can do the same thing. Now, the one thing I've not been able to do is import videos from YouTube over into the watch party, but I'm working on that and we'll teach that next. I'm gonna figure that out so I can walk you through that. So if you go to any of the leaders that you like and love and they have videos on their pages that you wanna share, <coughs> excuse me, in your watch parties, all you have to do is click on the video and when you watch it, it's gonna save over to your watched videos or if you click save, it's gonna save over to your saved videos. You can also create collections. So when you go to click save in the videos that you're trying to add to your queue, it's going to ask you, do you want to name the collection? So I named my collection um, It Works Opportunity or I named my collection It Works Products. Shadana said, what if you have something you don't want folks to see? 
Can I say stuff that's none of your business without folks seeing it? Yes. So that's what's going to show up when you go to look at watched videos. Like I saw earlier today where I saw I was looking at a Steve Harvey video. I was like, why is that in my watched videos? But Facebook saves every video that you click on and open up. It's saved over in there. But it's not going to show up unless you pick it, Shadana. So no worries. They're not going to know the ratchet stuff we've been looking at, right? <laughs> like if I was looking at the Real Housewives, it's not going to show up. I digress. So you can select. So it's going to have watched videos as a selection. Welcome, Dr. Keisha. It's going to have um, suggested videos. It's going to have live videos. And what the live videos are are not your lives. Don't worry if you're not my faithful servants. It's live videos that are going on right then on social media. I know, praise Jesus, right? We don't need all the dirty little secrets out, right? And no skeletons falling out the closet. So, <laughs> Shadana, I, we are a mess. So, the live videos are going to be live videos that are currently streaming on Facebook if you wanted to create a watch party around that. And then the other videos, like I just said, are going to be the saved videos where you found videos on Facebook that you liked, loved, got to have it, like Cold Stone Creamery, right? You clicked on them, you saved them, and now they're under your saved box. I noticed that some videos that I save, it takes about a day before they show up in there, right? So I don't know if there's a... a um, if the queue can only hold a minimum number, I'm not sure or not. But this is something I found out tonight in preparation for the training for you and for our team. Was that, okay, I was like, add video. Like, is that all I can do is pick from live, watch, suggested, or saved? But no, the Holy Spirit said no. Click down there. So underneath the box, you're also going to see a little bar that says photo video. So you know how if you were going to create a post on Facebook and you clicked on photo or video and you get to go select one from your downloaded files on your computer, <gasps> ha ha, you can upload downloaded videos from there. So let's say you went over to YouTube and you were able to download a video from YouTube or you watched a video um, on some other you know website that you found online and you downloaded it and saved it to your computer you can go over there and click the photo video box instead of add video and from there it's gonna bring up all your download files and when it pulls up your download files what I saw was every video that I've created over the last six years so I could go in there and I could create watch parties from my ministry videos I could create watch parties from it works I could create watch parties from product presentations that you know that I've done on my YouTube page for the products. It's a plethora of stuff that you can share. So any of your old motivational videos that you may want to share, your It Works Opportunity videos that you may want to download, you can download, save to your computer, and then pull them up in your watch party. How cool is that? So that's how you create a watch party, and that's how. So then now you have your videos added to the queue. You can add one video or you can keep adding multiple videos. It's just going to say add to queue, add to queue, add to queue. So one night, like I said, I did a back-to-back -back three videos or I think it was four because I just got, I'm extra, right? I just was like, hey, if two is good, four is greater, right? So however many you want to share, they're going to keep rolling. But the one thing that I noticed that you just want to be aware of, you're so sweet, oh, you are you all the way money, right? You're, it's my pleasure. And so... Um, when you go to add the videos, one thing that I noticed that Facebook does is they, if you pick two videos or more, they have a suggested video that they add behind your selection. So you've got to pay attention. If you click leave now to walk away from the video, you want to make sure that your video is still playing and that, so that Facebook doesn't add to the queue some other product or some other company that's not related to what you're doing and what do I mean by that what's an example you're welcome Renita God bless you and so and thank you for the shout out you're so sweet God bless you and so um, let's say for example when I'm sharing Cami Pentecost Thursday video right what happened was last Thursday after I shared it another video popped up behind it that I didn't select I guess it came from just Facebook saying okay she's talking she's sharing <coughs> excuse me She's sharing Cami Pentecost. Let's pull and play another Cami Pentecost. Well, this video happened to be 
it was pretty old. I think it was from where we were in like 19 countries. But I didn't want to cut it off because people were still joining the watch party. And so what I was doing while she was talking is I was in the comment section acting as if I was interacting. Because she was saying, if you're just joining, type a one. I typed a one. If, you, if you've heard of It Works and you love It Works, tell me what you love about It Works. So I'm in the comment section saying, oh, I love It Works and how much weight I lost, how great my skin looks. So even though the video was older... I was, I was just keeping up and commenting because I didn't want to cut it off. And so you want to be careful to make sure that you get to pick what scrolls in behind your videos, okay? So then after you click add video, it's going to tell you to click on the watch party to start it. And you're going to see this great screen come up like a movie production. This is the coolest thing. And then all of a sudden when it comes up, your audience starts watching. It starts telling you Shadonna has joined, Jasmine has joined, Michelle has joined. And now it gives you the opportunity to say, thank you, Jasmine, for joining my watch party. Thank you, Michelle, for coming to my watch party. Thank you, Raina, for coming to the watch party. You guys reach out to me. If you're interested in anything that she's talking about, let's talk afterwards. If you have questions while we're on here, be sure to write down, you know, the fat fighter she's talking about. Joseph Newman's lost 40 seven pounds so uh, the watch party allows you to be interactive with your audience with people that you would normally not be engaged with right because there's no way I could engage with I would say that on average for when I do a watch party in Shadana you could tell me how many you have I lose count but at least 40 to 50 people are on the watch party and these are not 40 to 50 people I know. And so as I see their names come up, it gives me the chance to go add them as a friend if they're not my friend. It gives me the chance to go back and messenger and say, thanks so much for watching. If you have any additional questions, hey, you know, don't worry. You don't have, you know, I'm not asking you to join my business. But if you're looking to lose weight, get in shape, get healthy, let me know. I'd love to be your girl, right? I just use the script over in messenger. So I don't want this to be too long. I apologize. We're, you know, I'm rambling. So say something about your video we talked about in the title and we talked about sharing multiple videos you cannot schedule watch parties we talked about that but you can create a post saying i'm going to be hosting a watch party what's today thursday i'm going to host a watch party on friday at noon have you been looking to lose weight? I'm going to host a watch party on Friday at noon. Have you been trying to grow your hair out, right? Regrow your edges or whatever it is. I'm hosting a watch party at noon. Do you want to lose 31 pounds in 90 days? I'm hosting a watch party at noon. Do you want guaranteed income? Have you been affected by the government shutdown? So you just want to be creating kitschy topics and you can put them on a post. And then when you're ready to go live in your watch party, you just do it, okay? So I'm going to hurry up so we don't stay too long. And you can message me if you have questions. I'm not an expert by any means. But our amazing leader said, Garland, I want you to get on here and teach about watch parties because she knows social media is, is working for people and it's going to help you grow. It's working for all of us. It's going to help you grow your brand. So you want to think strategically. We talked about that. Pick videos you love depending on your target market, share content, and share value. So like I was saying, if you're someone you want to have lifestyle posts, Nina talks about all the time mixing it up. And I have to do better about balancing out what I'm talking about, right? Because some of my stuff will be motivation, but I, I, sometimes I'm too, it works, it works, it works, right? I get overzealous. But we want to have a mix of stuff, right? So maybe you're a John Maxwell fan. Maybe you love to cook. Right, and you can incorporate healthy cooking. Like, shout out to Richard Mulcahy. He did a keto chef episode in our private weight loss group. It was phenomenal. He actually literally was dressed in his executive chef outfit. And, <laughs> excuse me, he did a watch party around keto and cooking. And then he did a um, product presentation of the greens, the shakes, the fat fighter, and the thermal fight, and the coffee. He targeted five products that went along and coincided with the cooking show. How cool is that, right? So that's what the watch parties allow you to do. So, but we got to mix it up. And then um, what else could you share? You could share interviews of other It Works um, reps, right, that have done well in the business, like the Show Me The Money Call. But you want to look at those videos first and make sure um, that it's specific to what you want to share and that it's not promoting someone else's website or phone number before you put it out there, okay? And then watch parties will give you credibility. Um, it will also um, strategically make you stand out. We talked about that. Watch parties are powerful for people that run out of their warm market. How many times in business, right, because many of us have had multiple businesses, <coughs> excuse me, do we say, 
I've run out of people to talk to, which is impossible, right? Nina blows a hole in that every time we all say it, right? I've run out of people to talk to. But if you genuinely feel like, okay, I don't know enough people and I need to connect and I need to get to know more people, watch parties is your ticket, right? Because people are, I'm nosy. I know I hate to confess that, but I'm nosy, right? If, and if you're nosy like me, put a one in the comment section, right? And so when I see somebody come on with a watch party, even though I may not be interested, I'm going to click on there right quick just to see what they're talking about because I'm just nosy. It's just like, it's like, what are they doing? What are they talking about, right? And I'm Southern, so we're nosy. We sit on the porch waving to people we don't know. So the watch party is the same thing. It's going to create interest. And so it gives you credibility with people you don't know. It gives you access to a warm market. It gets people knowing who you are, who Michelle Johnson is, who Stacey Dubois is, right? Who else is on here with me? Um, who Jasmine Ray is. Michelle's nosy like me. Thank you, Michelle. I know I won't the only one. Shadonna, you, you're nosy. She said I'm attentive. I love it. You are so extra. Okay, I love it. I'm not nosy, y'all. I'm attentive, right? We got to be classy about it. So... It's going to give people that are nosy to say, I wonder what Shadon Marie is over there doing with her cute self. They hating anyway, right? They're going to look. And so it is a great way also for people that were maybe in business with you before in another business and they want to know what you're doing, but they don't really want to ask you yet. It gives them a chance to peep at it, right? I had fellow realtors um, on the live the other night when I was sharing... Um, Nina's, I think, no, I was sharing Cammy's live last week. No, it was yesterday. Share, I shared it a day early because I got overzealous. And one of my fellow real estate brokers said, you really are piquing my interest with this it work stuff. And so I invited him to our opportunity call. Now, he didn't jump on, but guess what? People will pay attention because if you keep showing it and you keep, y'all know y'all nosy, and you keep telling people about it, they are paying attention. So it is a perfect way for your warm market to say, okay, she's really serious about this. Or it's a way for you to turn a cold market into a warm market. The other thing is we're all on different time zones depending on where we are. But what I realize is if like right now it's probably close to midnight. We're all crazy. Why are we still up talking about watch parties at midnight, right? It's Nina. It's the Nina effect, the Nina factor. I told Nina I think she's a vampire, a Christian vampire, right? Because she's up all the time. But let's say that you're trying to reach a market in Australia. Right now in Australia, it is morning time or either mid-afternoon. In Germany, it's probably getting ready to be morning, maybe. In Korea, it's probably already tomorrow night, right? So let's say that you're trying to build an international market, but you're not sure. You're not up when they're up. You're not awake when they're awake. So therefore, they're not able to jump on our opportunity calls. I invited a couple of people from Germany to get on the opportunity call. And they're like, girl, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. When y'all, I ain't get on the opportunity call at 1 in the morning. But the watch party can do for me what I can't do for myself. The watch party can do for you globally what we can't do for ourselves. Because let's say you're laying in bed and you can't sleep and it's 2 in the morning. If you post a watch party, you can click leave now, your party is going to continue to play. Now, the only thing is if you're not paying attention, you can't take screenshots of the people that were watching, but you're still getting the content out there, okay? I'm rambling. I apologize. The next thing is, ideally, you will become more consistent, right? So that's why we talked about creating a watch party list of what you want to talk about, what's your content going to be. And then make it something that you're that you are passionate about. Of course, it's it works. Of course, it's the it works opportunity. Um, but be consistent every week with what it is you're talking about because that way people you're going to be able to engage and create your own audience. Um, the other thing is I schedule watch parties in my phone and I look for things that I want to share. Right. So tonight in our private weight loss group, I knew that I did not have time to do a keto video. So I shared somebody else's keto video I found on um, Facebook. So I encourage you to create a group for your It Works business. Let's say that you are a licensed esthetician or a licensed cosmetologist. I'm a former cosmetologist. So is Jasmine is a cosmetologist. So is Nina. Many of you may be cosmetologists. So let's say that you want to target the skincare Right, so create a watch party. Find some way to create a, a group. I'm sorry. Find some way to create a private group around skincare and the hair, skin, and nails and the collagen, right? Which includes the coffee. So create focus groups, right? Or if you're a coffee fanatic, y'all, I'm a coffee snob. Let's say that you create a coffee lovers group. And in the coffee lovers group, you focus on talking about the keto coffee, but it's all things coffee, whether it's coffee memorabilia, coffee beans, how, do, how are coffee beans grown? You know what I'm talking about, right? Or let's say that you're a vegetarian. 
then you create a vegetarian group. And then within the vegetarian group, you begin to target vegetarians that need more protein. See, a lot of people, when they go vegan, their hair falls out, right? I don't know why I did that. My hair is not falling out and I'm not a vegan. Me and meat go way back, right? But let's say that you're trying to think of a group that you want to target or focus. Be thinking of a group. So now you have a group page that you can put watch parties in. You have a personal page you can put watch parties in. And you've created a business page. Now you have three watch party groups working for you to help build and grow your dynamic and your um, your presence in addition to what we're doing outside with um, our opportunity meetings, our sip and shares. It's just layering, okay? And then the last thing I want to share with you is by scheduling what you're going to talk about, you don't have to think about it. Therefore, because we're all busy, we don't get overwhelmed and beat ourselves up and say, man, I didn't do my watch party. Man, I should have done that. I should have done this. You don't have to beat yourself up about it. So, I'm going to share these last. I have four more tips. If you can stay with me. If not, this is a live. It's going to be recorded. Okay. So for example, on Monday night, we will have a watch party on X, Y, Z. And you're going to, every Monday, you're going to talk about the same thing. You're going to talk, you're going to have a watch party on your personal page. You're going to have a watch party on your business page. You're going to have a watch party on your group page. You can have multiple watch parties going at once. So my husband and I, when we do Bible study on Tuesday nights at seven, I was hosting a watch party over on my personal page. And my husband goes live from our ministry page. So while he was on the ministry page, we're live on ministry. I'm hosting a watch party on my personal page. So it allows you to multitask in your life. Okay, that's what watch parties will give you. It will allow you to duplicate yourself, so to speak. Instead of cloning you, you get to clone yourself through a watch party. The watch party, once it ends, I share with you, it's still available for replay. And it'll be off to the side where you can play it again. Right? So if you if you find um, watch parties, if, I'm sorry, if you find videos that you love, just keep playing them over and over. You may think, gosh, people are going to get tired of seeing the same video every Thursday, right? I was thinking that, hey, Shamika, shout out, Flo Rida, right? I was thinking that, gosh, every Thursday people are going to get tired of watching this video, but the same people watch it every week. The same people, and plus new people. So that means that they're interested in what she's saying, or they wouldn't stay on there and watch it. Now, I can't tell how long they're on the watch party, but nevertheless, I'm screenshotting so I know who I'm going to follow back up with and consistency of it, okay? So then the watch party stays up, plus it gives you new content, right? You can use your old lives to do watch parties. Repurpose old content. It's a genius idea. So that's what I was just sharing with you. Those of you that just joined us, we're excited. We're talking about and coaching on watch parties. So please go back and watch it from the beginning. It's going to help grow your business. Nina wanted me, um, shout out to our Triple Dine and Nina Rochelle Moore, going ambassador. She wanted me to teach the team on watch parties and using them to grow your business. So the watch parties are going to allow you to brand yourself. It's going to allow you to prospect. It's going to allow you to recruit. It's going to allow you to develop your warm market, and it's going to allow you to generate leads. Again, you cannot go back and see the people that watch the watch party after it ends. So if you're watching from the desktop, use your cell phone to screenshot. If you're hosting a watch party from your cell phone, every now and again, just screenshot while the watch party's playing. It's not going to cut off right because you can click the leave now button and it'll keep playing and then when you click back on it you'll see the names of the people that are watching just screenshot it and let it keep playing so that's how you're going to begin to create your list for those people that say you only have a list of 30 people or you only have a list that they talk you know that um double diamond pastor rasheed coleman talks about making the list of 100 people and using the brain um jogger i think it's called brain something else it's not brain jogger right but a memory jogger and the brain matrix i think that's what it's called when you say i don't have anybody else this is going to give you people to add to your list and shadana talked about it earlier about growing your network every day the watch party is going to bless you to do that so last point is it lets you get in front of people more frequently so for those of you that are chickens about going live and you don't want to get in touch with your inner Beyonce and be Sasha Fierce, you can do a watch party and invite people to watch with you. That way you're not talking, somebody's doing the talking and the interacting for you. Plan to do your watch parties, we talked about this, the same day every week. Decide what you want to share and take the guesswork out of it so that way you don't have to think about it. Keep it simple, sweetie. You can share old videos plus other people's videos. Right? So let's say that you're a keto lover, you're a keto fan, like we have our closed weight loss group that focuses specifically on keto and intermittent fasting. I can go into that group and create a watch party around Dr. Oz. Now, Dr. Oz, if he's sharing products or selling products, I'm not going to share that specific video. But if he's not, 
He's just talking about how to be successful with keto. Then what I'm going to do is create a watch party around Dr. Oz and let him teach my private group on keto and intermittent fasting. And then I'm going to follow up and say, hey, you all heard Dr. Oz talk about blue-green algae. Hey, you all heard Dr. Oz talk about collagen. So it's going to give me a reason to follow back and circle back with our products and tie it in to the content. So think about sharing content and videos that are related to our It Works business opportunity or products. And then lastly, Facebook loves lives, but Facebook loves watch parties more than lives. I heard that today, tonight in the training. So if you thought lives were great, watch parties are greater, which means now you don't have to be an online celebrity. Let the watch parties do it for you. And, and this is going to boost you up in the searches. So that means that people that have watched your watch parties before, now they become followers. And every time you go on a watch party, you pop up so they know you're live. They, you pop up so they know to go watch your watch party. And then lastly, be consistent, right? So just to give you some ideas <coughs> as we close out, Pastor Rasheed made me sick when I was in, in Pennsylvania. I'm blaming him, but nevertheless, I'm just kidding, right? But I'm catching cold from somebody. I love him. I'm just playing. So be consistent. And the five things that you can think to talk about, just to give you some ideas when you say, okay, what should I talk about? Don't do like me, right? I drive Nina crazy. I'm an overthinker. She's like, you're going to drive me crazy with your overthinking, right? So don't overthink it. She says it in love. She loves me, right? So you can share other people's stuff. That's number one. You can, other people's videos. You can share um, keto and fasting if you want to talk about that. You can, of course, share the It Works products, the It Works opportunity. You can create your own private opportunity group and in there just share some of the old opportunity presentations. Just say, especially if there's not an opportunity presentation going on a night that people are interested in and you don't want to miss presenting, host a watch party, right? That way you don't have to worry about there's no opportunity called that specific night. You host one, right? And then you can um, lifestyle videos. Um, motivational videos. So that's everything. I want to thank y'all for being on here with me tonight. I pray it was valuable because I don't want to be in trouble with Nina. And she'd be like, hey, you suck, right? So I hope it was valuable information. If you have any questions, again, go back and watch the video from the beginning. Tonight, we were coaching on watch parties and how it is going to expand, grow, and cultivate your business, your network, your leads. And ultimately, it's going to help you sponsor. It helps Shadana sponsor a business partner today. Um, Nina has recruited and gotten customers several. I watched her get several when I was sitting with her and every day I watch her get several just from watch parties, right? And I've been able to recruit and get customers from watch parties. So message me if you have questions or just put them right here in the chat so everybody can have access to the questions and the answers. So God bless you. I'm believing God for every last one of you to be successful and to hit your ranks on this month so that we can take this business all the way to the top. So we thank God for the favor that is on all of our lives. And Michelle, it's my pleasure. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.